colliding with Mars, which planet would survive? I'm Team Earth, baby. Earth, 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 Earth. I don't think either one would survive. They both explode. Well, let's okay. find out. Comment down below what you think. Around the world, go out on the streets and rooftops to look at the amazing cosmic phenomenon. Another planet right next to the moon, a big red one. At first, everyone's excited. Are Mars we? showing up out of nowhere is having a strange effect on I'd humanity. I'd be terrified. Just as the moon can affect the psychological and physical state of some people, Mars is un Is that true? Do you guys ever look at the moon and you're like, psychologically, I feel better? If I see a full moon, my, my mood goes up about 35%. I get scared because I think about how tiny everything is and how tiny I am. And you are small. Do you ever look at the moon and think somebody's up there looking back at you? No. No, there's no life on Mars. Unexpected visit is causing people to behave pretty strangely. Every night, the sky is lit up by the white light of the moon Whoa. and the red glow Whoa. of Mars. Looks like evil and darkness. Many people get I a like sort that. of instant it's insomnia. like something out of Star Wars. Some even stop drinking coffee because they no what? longer feel huh? sleepy. Mars huh. brings out energy and is a little a wildness in is this people, true? making crazy. them laugh more and even drives a few poor no. people crazy. No. Okay, wait, why would it make us more energetic? With the light. Like the red light yeah. is just known to make you more energetic and then you're happier. I think, I'm pretty sure. It's like the infrared sauna. Maybe yeah, I feel we're like all werewolves and vampires. It's making people kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Almost, yeah, like insomnia, yeah. Because they, yeah. they wouldn't be able to sleep with those bright lights. Why they not? begin to go out of their houses more often and enjoy the <laughs> unusual night sky. A few days yeah. later, everybody technically can you see could survive. what's happening. Mars is getting bigger. What are you talking Scientists about? Scientists announced that the red planet... People go to sleep because it's nighttime and it's dark outside. But if the Mars was outside, then we'd stay awake all the time because it would always be sunny. Adam, I want you to shut your eyes right now. Is it light or is it dark? It's dark. Yeah, so what are you talking People about? People go to bed because it's dark. People go to bed because they're tired. No, no. You, what? It's because of the moon cycle, but the Mars cycle would throw you all out of work. You have no idea what you're talking about. Why? But the it Mars, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be like the sun. Earth. It would be A pretty dark is inevitable. Earthlings only have a few years left. A few months <laughs> ago, some a huge <laughs> asteroid crashed into the red planet with that such force that Mars simply no flew way. out of its own orbit Home and run. went rogue. The chance what? that Mars would fly oh. close to Earth was always going to be pretty high. After about three seconds of being really? announced, the news went viral and panic set in. The situation's getting Anybody worse this? and worse. No! The closer Mars gets, the more it affects people on a physical level. Hundreds of videos oh pop up showing collision simulations of Mars <laughs> That's exactly Earth. what we're watching. And there's no happy ending. Want to see what happens? One famous blogger yeah. asked her followers. The Earth's almost oh. <laughs> completely covered with water, and Mars is That's all true. dust, sand, and rocks. Huh. Then she puts a huge watermelon in the middle of her room. From the far end, okay. she launches a bowling ball at it. Bang! Right. Mars looks almost the so same size happen? as the moon now. Yeah. It's about to come. Wait, 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 wait. Mars is not the same size as the moon, is it? That's what I'm saying, bro. If Mars comes out, it's like this teeny tiny way up in the sky. Guys, you guys, can barely guys, see it. It's, it's not. Like you guys are done. He's moon. saying that Adam, Mars is stop. way further back than the moon. Mars is twice the size of the moon. We know this, but it's further back. It's so far away. All three balls, the Earth, Mars, and the moon, they are rock and metal. All three balls. I only <laughs> have two you. of those. Thanks. Okay. I'm into the moon's orbit, and it's affecting Look, the Earth's magnetic Thank you. It's getting field. bigger. Floods, it's coming. hurricanes, Into tsunamis, the wow. powerful thunderstorms. That's crazy. They go from bad to worse. Animals go crazy. Wow. Birds no longer <laughs> migrate Animals sound. Animals go crazy. <laughs> the polar northern <laughs> lights appear in the Caribbean. Whoa, that's cool. The economy isn't handling the news that well. I wouldn't. People stop showing up to work. Why Same. wouldn't they? They just want to. Yeah, I mean, okay, so let's say today you guys got news that Mars is coming and it's going to hit Earth in a year. What do you do? I would start building nukes. I'd build a giant bunker. How, like, you guys like, have zero skills. How are you going to do that? I would Alex hire someone is really to build handy. a giant bunker. But the people that you're going to hire, they're not going to care. They're going to build them a bunker for themselves. That's true. I would pay them in any way possible to live in their bunker. Wait, but if they don't like money, what will you give them? You don't want to know. Entertainment. Alec could be like a jester from the olden ages. That's good question. You're not going to like the answers, Jack. Let's just say I'm going to entertain. To have fun and be like with that. loved ones. There Adam's solution is always to use little boys. The planet to last until the catastrophe. They're very so no one's even trying to fix the Earth's problems. Clothing, food, cars, yachts, This is like whatever. the movie Don't Look Up. Everything loses its value and becomes free. Every day, huh. huge street parties hey. pop up all over the world. 
people decide to live their last months in peace and those last few months will be crazy fun though humanity wow like never before ooh, 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 to go out with a bang I play so much fortnite i think this is incorrect rock concert the red giant destroying our i think this is completely wrong i totally disagree no, no there, I, there would be a I large like amount of people doing this alex there would be so many people just celebrating it would be total anarchy bro no one would care about any laws people would be running around rampant stealing things just going crazy like yeah people will party but like i think most people would just break all the laws that they can and just do whatever they want is that what you would do i don't think so but i think that's what a lot of people would do but why because there's only a year left to live and so people are just gonna do whatever they want well why can't they just do that right now because it's against the law but that doesn't stop people today because they don't want to spend the rest of their life because in prison but the prison doesn't even exist jack exactly beautiful but assassins planet. and such yeah rock and roll's the perfect soundtrack there's just enough time to eat dance party and listen to good music huge stages are built <laughs> all over the planet it's every musician's last concert okay i would definitely During not be all listening that preparation that hope suddenly appears hey scientists have calculated Why? all the events that'll occur when mars crashes into earth and they have a simple plan luckily humans okay. had already planned on moving to mars yes. so they already have been uh, building right. spaceships for years there's no time Sweet. to get to another planet before the collision but the good news is that people can wait out the disaster just outside Earth's It's not going to be a lot of people. You get to sit in a space station, munch some popcorn, relax, and that be real? enjoy That's the show. That's going to be about 0.5% of the population. Settled, it might just Probably be less. possible to return Wait, to Earth. Or what's what did they get hit so, by debris? Essentially, it's like WALL-E, right? Like the plot of WALL-E that we would just like go out into a giant space station and kind of just like wait for Earth to be fine again. Yep. Like so, the 100. I like yeah, WALL-E. It could be like better. the 100. I, do you think that that's like a plan in, in place right now? Like there's obviously the International Space Station, but do you think that they have like spaceships ready to take a large amount of the population into space? No, not a large amount, but uh, probably about like 10,000. Probably like the billionaires. Yeah. The billionaires are going to be able to go. The billionaires and all the, all the content creators on YouTube. YouTube. Right. Okay. That sounds good. They're going to need entertainment somehow. Love it. After learning about this plan, people start working on finishing the ships night and day. Everyone in the world pitches in. Yay. There are still two years left before the big day. The huge concert stages are converted into more space stations. What? Why would they do this earlier? Giving people more energy. Because they had and to with celebrate. Epic teamwork. People managed to create thousands of stations in just a few months. Really? That's what happens okay. when 7 billion people work together. Farmers, Actually, like, that's a good point. You guys think, like, with everybody working together, if there isn't, like, crazy anarchy, like, that we would actually be able to get more people into space. I think so. There's a lot of lazy people. Adam, you gotta think, though. Do you remember the, uh, the space race? Have you ever, like, read about the space race between us and, uh, Russia? Yeah. Adam. Okay, I was gonna yeah. say. Right? Yeah, yeah, you know about that. When we, like, all of our budget and all of our manpower was spent on, like, let's get to space before Russia. And we literally had so many technological advances within, like, that 10-year span. So imagine if we if we had to do that again. Wasn't that fake? Some people say so. Some people do say it's fake. I hope not. Chefs, engineers, athletes, accountants, all on the same team. Mars is now closer to us than the moon. The red giant blocks out the sun, and our planet is plunged into darkness. No. There are only a <laughs> Alec few days is raiding left. and pillaging. People yep. are working like ants in a massive <laughs> colony, putting the finishing touches on several hundred thousand space stations. Why are they painting it, it, bro? You're about to I know, right? Who cares about the stupid paint? Plus, it's gotta look the nice when the supplies. aliens come and take us Animals, over. Animals, fish, seeds, plants, vegetables, fruits. Video oh, games. Noah's space video space games. Come on. The red giant is scheduled to <laughs> enter Earth's orbit in a couple Fortnite. of days. Be that Fortnite is so scary. Out. Really pick up speed. Mars is only a little more than half the size of Earth, but up in the sky, it looks infinitely huge. Yeah. The ships start taking off. See you. People take a last look around, <laughs> memorizing <laughs> oh, every sorry, Alex. In a few hours, it'll all change to forever. Behind. The stations fly up far enough away to clear any orbits. That's not a lot of Two people in those spaceships. Two colliding together should still have a soundtrack, though. Rock stars on every ship organize an outer space why music. Why are they going to throw this in? No, they're <laughs> not. The awesome sound of rock. There's going to be so many people left behind. <laughs> they're not going to start celebrating. This is like going to be the worst surface. day in history. This releases an incredible this amount of energy. This will be the last day in history for Earth. Here we go. Faster and faster. This is it what happens. Into the I think it's just going to splash. A huge wow. blast wave sweeps across the entire yeah, the water planet. Just wow. Everything is lit up by flames, and everyone on the ships has to put on sunglasses to avoid being blown. Blinded. Our blue really? planet is turning into a fiery one. It's going to wow. turn to the, the, the sun. The dust of Mars oh mixes gosh, with the water this. of Earth. 
The force of the impact goes through the Earth's crust into the liquid-hot magma. Hundreds of pieces of Mars, some the size of entire countries, are somehow floating in the atmosphere. The what? collision generates so much energy that all oceans boil and evaporate. No. Seas and rivers of molten metal are now spreading all over Earth. Holy we lost smokes. water? Days, weeks, months pass. A belt made up of bits of Mars forms around the Earth. It's like a fiery version of Saturn. It'll take a long time before it's safe to land back down. Yeah, wouldn't it take like millions of years? can't stay alive on the ships all that time. They're gonna run out of water. Food, water, and oxygen and will run out after a few years. That's it? But scientists already have a plan. We are. Wait, there's a, some sort of headset. What's our plan? Can't they make their own like plant system and they like they grow trees and stuff inside to get oxygen? How are they gonna yeah. water it, Alec? They don't have any water. We need to figure out. If a you don't have any water, water you're yeah, you screwed. Filter, you're done. You filter your pee. It's a Minecraft. Your pee. You filter your pee and then you can drink that again. Yeah. What? That's what they do in space. Yeah. That is true. Eventually Actually, you run out, but you know you. They say oh. they say that all water that you've drank has been consumed already and peed out by dinosaurs. That is what they say. That's what they say. No. So you're actually, you always are drinking dinosaur pee. It's true. No. Don't ask me who, Ad, but they, Ad, they you're say You're drinking it. my pee? You're drinking Alex? No, pee? no, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> you're drinking pee, Adam. No! The ships flip a switch and become huge cryo chambers. The ships are equipped with energy panels and the roasting hot earths giving off a lot of energy. Wow. Totally enough to keep the ships working while everyone on board takes a few thousand like year Wally. nap. As that? soon as the planet cools down, humans will wake up. Hundreds of thousands of years pass. One day, alarms what? go off simultaneously on all the ships. Wake up! Time People for school! Wake up slowly. Their bodies are exhausted. They've been in VR for thousands of years. A few billion cups of coffee. That's what we're in right now. Ready to go. Down on Earth, new continents should have formed, and the atmosphere is most likely way different. The planet might have lost its original orbit, so it might be spinning at a different angle. Huh. The seasons as we know them, gone. All the water on Earth evaporated in the first few wow. hours. Can it even be habitable? But there were habitable? huge glaciers on Mars, which might have melted on impact. Mars may have shared its water with our planet. Oh. The clouds of dust and dirt should have settled by now, and the ground should be pretty good for growing stuff on. All that magma probably spewed up a bunch of useful minerals and chemicals. It's going to be difficult, Whoa, but humanity so somehow cool. must adapt to the I new kinda, world. Yeah, that does look cool. People are ready for anything. All the Earthlings run to the nearest windows okay. to see what their beloved planet looks like after all these centuries. Um, uh, where is it? Alec People are craning uh -oh. their necks, looking out at the empty spot where the Earth used to be. What? The impact of Mars what? was so oh, strong pushed... that it pushed the Earth out of Whoa. its orbit around the sun. Yo. It's gone. So, Great. where do we go? What Wait, are we going to do now? Some bearded guy grabs a guitar oh, and says, God. let's play. Why are they all red-haired? We're screwed. Earth is screwed. If the, the whole universe is in the fate of the red hair people. If Mars hits Earth, I learned one thing, and that's we're going to have a giant concert. We're going to have a, a rock concert, and we're all going to die. We just, they're all gonna die. The Earth's gone. That was actually really, really, really cool. But you know what I always wondered, Adam? What is that, Jack? What would happen if the moon crashed into Earth? Ooh, that's a good one. I don't know. If only we had a way to figure it out. Click this video right here.